Good evening. Welcome to Equip. On this edition of Equip, I will be talking about the spiritual discipline of meditation. Mahalaga ang meditation and the Bible itself has a lot to say about meditation. The words meditate and meditation appear about 22 times in the English Standard Version. At marami siyang possible meanings. Ang um, ilan sa mga pwedeng pakahulugan or meanings of the word meditate, it may mean to ponder or to imagine. Sa Tagalog, yung magmuni-muni or magbulay-bulay. It also means to speak or to talk or to converse or have a conversation internally or to commune with one's self. So ilan lang yan sa possible meanings ng meditation. But there is none that probably best captures the idea behind meditation other than Psalm 77 verse 6 according to the King James Version. There it says, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart and my spirit made diligent search. And so here we find perhaps the, the, the most perfect meaning of what meditation is like. To meditate is to commune with one's own heart. It's like having a conversation within ourselves, in our own heart. It's like having an internal dialogue, uh, focusing one's attention onto something that catches our attention. Siguro ginagawa natin yung madalas. I do that a lot. Yung kinakausap natin yung ating sarili. Of course, in the right place and at the right time. We talk internally and have we have that internal dialogue that takes place within. Now, this meditation is an important discipline in our spiritual life. But not just for meditation's sake in itself. Meditation is most powerful when meditation's focus is correct. Ano po ba yung ibig kong sabihin? Magiging effective lamang ang meditation kapag ang focus ng ating meditation ay naaayon sa kagustuhan ng Diyos. So, what do we focus upon as the subject matter for meditation? What should we meditate on? There are a number of good things that the Bible teaches us that we should meditate on. We focus on our meditation in terms of the Word of God. Uh, Psalm 119 verse 97 says, Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. We also meditate on what God has done. Psalm 143 verse 5 says, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all that you have done. I ponder upon the work of your hands. We meditate. On the word or the promise of God as well. Psalm 119 verse 148 says, My eyes are awake before the watches of the night that I may meditate on your promise. We also meditate on God himself, on who he is. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Uh, Psalm, six, Psalm 63 verse 6 says, When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. Ultimately, the focus of meditation is on what is excellent and praiseworthy. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 declares, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is, any, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about such things. Meditation, therefore, is having a focused internal dialogue, communing of one's heart about God-glorifying, personally enriching, and people edifying subject matter. And for meditation, therefore, to reap its maximum benefit in our lives, it is important that we know 
what we focus on when we meditate. And so first things first, let me ask you a question. I would like for you to ponder upon this question. What actually are you meditating upon right now? That is, what's your heart internally focused on? Ano ba yung madalas na pumupuno sa puso mo? Are they God-glorifying, personally enriching, or people-edifying matters? It's important for us to know the focus of our meditation dahil iyan ang una-una natin pagtuunan ng pansin so that this spiritual of meditation may truly reap its maximum benefit in our lives. Thank you for joining me in today's edition of Equip. Next time, we will focus on the second part of this topic on meditation. I will talk on how to do meditation itself. So God bless. See you next Thursday.